Morning everyone. It is Monday morning, uh, 7.24. Uh, we had some blistering weather over the weekend, so much so that the top of my head actually got burnt. The joys of having no hair, or halfway back. Um, but yeah, spent a day on the digger yesterday, um, moving all the earth into the middle, and then creating the footings for the walls that we got to build. Dug all that out. Um, but today it's back. Rain, wind, but it held off just enough for us to get like a really good weekend in, which was ace. Roast beef yesterday. Oh, it was bliss. All the stuff, you ro roast beef and roast potatoes, Yorkshire puddings, beans. Oh, it was great. Lovely, lovely roast. And then we started watching TV and just kind of chilled out all the evening. It was nice. Great weekend. Feel ready and set for today. Um, we've got a T5 coming in today, which is having pretty much a full system. We've got facial. GoPro batteries. Um, yeah, we've got a T5 coming in, full system, so it's having a Pioneer uh, 9200 CD DAB CarPlay Android Auto oh, head unit. Um, we're doing front component speakers and adapters, and we're doing an under seat sub HS10. So it's having kind of like the whole kit and caboodle ready to go, give him some decent sounds. Uh, We've got the guy with the Mercedes van coming back in. Um, so probably gonna cop a load of mouthful from him uh, about his stop-start system. Unfortunately, language barriers are a problem. Uh, and I understood what he was saying to be something else. Um, but he does get a bit, it's kind of like aggression and shout first and then think about what he said later. He is, uh, he's, a, he's certainly a character, so we've got to deal with that today. Whether we're taking the stuff out or not, I don't know. Um, either way, we'll, we'll sort it. I know a way to fix what he's now describing, which was before he was telling me that the amps were shutting off. Um, it's not actually the amps shutting off, it's the van's battery that can't actually cope with the starting and the... Um, maintenance of everything else in the vehicle the crank voltage goes so low it actually shuts the amp down but he was explaining it to me like the remote turned off and that was why the amps went to sleep so he said he had bad sound from the converter that he bought a cheaper one so obviously we fitted a key LOC which is you know a processed line converter but it also does DC offset and a trigger turn on for the amplifier so that was like the cure for the system but I didn't actually realize that he meant that it was the amp that shut down, not turned off because of, you know, ignition power, lack, lacking ignition power. So anyway, we'll have that fun conversation today. But other than that, guys, I'm gonna go off to work and I'll see you in a bit. Uh, hopefully this rain buggers off as quickly as it's arrived. I now need to start finding a tracked dumper. I wanna, Move the stones from the oh I got the digger in the front garden yesterday I, I brave the ramp that I'd made and we've got the digger up on the steps uh, and it is now in the front garden so I can change back to the scalpel bucket like the big so they call it a grading bucket and I can start shifting the stones out of the front two or three buckets but in doing so I need to move all that around the back and I probably would hazard a guess as about three tons of stone and I'm not doing that by hand can't be bothered I'm too old for that so I'll find a track dumper that me and Dan can kind of shift it all around the back ready to go and then wifey can get on with her garden in the front uh, but that's it yeah I'm gonna get off I'll see you in a bit <laughs>
Morning everyone, it is Monday. Um, Monday. First in today we have, some of you may or may not remember this, this is Vivian apparently. Um, if you know, you know, pretty woman. She was a prostitute. Oh, come on! Anyway. Uh, <laughs> morning, Dan. Morning. Um, so, yes, we've got this T5 in this morning. So, we are doing Pioneer 9200 DAB radio. Uh, it requires a component set in the front. So, we're going to take off the keep fit windows. We are going to change and drill out the mount that's in the door here. And then we're going to add a tweeter here, crossovers hidden in there. And I am doing the Pioneer stereo, which is going to go in Z dash. So we'll get rid of the old Sony, that's coming out. And then down there on the bottom of the sub, uh, on the bottom of the seat, we're doing a kicker HS10. Man, look at these seat covers. See, I told you. Vivian. <laughs> oh yeah. She's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna crack on with this and I'll come back to you in a bit. Alright everyone. Let me just uh, give you a little catch up a second. Let me just turn this down. So we've got T5 going ahead. Um, so far, Dan's got door off. Um, little change of plan. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna upgrade him to the red set instead of a component. And we'll do it for the, the similar sort of price. Um, so he's got door card off, obviously drilled out the rivets. We've got the adapters to put on. And then in the front, we've made up our HS10 loom ready to go in. And that's gonna go straight out the bottom of the dash under the carpet and across to the sub here. In the dash, we've done all the wiring for the head unit. That's all ready to go. Dan's finished the microphone there, DAB aerial there. It's just doing a connection in here for power. Uh, and then the head unit can go in. He's going to do the sub on a board. Without chopping fingers off. Oh. So he doesn't, yeah. That's so we've changed the components over the coaxes because he doesn't want me cutting holes in door I don't, cards. I don't want to cut holes in door cards and losing more digits. <laughs> Can't afford the insurance. See you in a bit. Hello, everyone. So. Transporter is <laughs> transporter is done. HS10 door speakers, head unit, that's all finished up and ready to go now. So customer's gonna be coming back fairly soon to come and get that. However, we have moved on because the boot build is done. Yeah, boy. Boot build is done and looking swish. We've decided to clean the car today. Because the thing was absolutely minging. And I, I've been Okay, all right. I just had a moment of panic there. You know what I just did, right? I know what you just did, yeah. it's fine. I, I had a moment where I thought, what did you just do? The tapping noise, Alex is doing some maintenance-y stuff, which is the first time I've ever seen him do any maintenance so on what this thing. What are you talking about, Willis? Well, I know you do maintenance, but... All right. Oh, yeah. Sick. That's why she's spitting twink. <laughs> God damn. Just a bit dirty, actually. They're actually really good, look. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Fresh boys, though. Fresh boys. <laughs> One. Alex giving it. Let me just gap these real quick. <laughs> Banging them around. <laughs> I used to know a bloke who serviced cars like that. What? Every spark plug he pulled out, he tapped on the wing lots of times. And I'm just like, you're an arsehole, because that car's going to run like shit and mm. people are going to have to come back to you. And then I thought, no, that's why he's doing it. So mm. the car runs like shit and people come back to him. Uh, half talk. Half inch talk uh, or three eighths? Three eighths three eighth I was going to say, what are you going to do with a half inch by 200 newton meters of spark plugs, yeah? Four, All right, bet. <laughs> see this guy tighten these up real quick. Mate, this is what holds the head on. <laughs> Head's held on with spark plugs, yo. 900 newton meters. <laughs> Maintenance. The what? Maintenance. Let's go. 75. 56? 56. All right. No. All right, bet. 22. Go on. No. See what happens at 50. Go on. 22 newton meters. I reckon I give it 30. And no, it absolutely <laughs> not. I reckon at 30 it gives away. No. <laughs> and quarter of a turn for luck. Yeah, go on. No, 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 no. 90 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just send this real quick. Yeah, no, I've always done spark plugs at 22 newton meters. They don't need to be any tighter. Compression washer says yes. Head says no. 
Them threads giving it. Oh god! <laughs> Snap on service kit though. Look at the spark plug set with mm. the foam. Hey, look at that little boy. Yeah, buddy. He's tasty. Right, you don't need to carry on filming. That's fine. They don't need two hours of me talking cod. Sorry. Rubbish. <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> What's that one like? What's He's alright. Like? He's okay too. It's just a bit, just a bit oily. See you soon. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is us done for a Monday. I don't think what day of the week it was. So Alex is bringing the locus in. Just parking stuff up. God, noisy thing. Sounds good though. Yes, that is us done for the day. So, I'm gonna watch him struggle to get out of the car now. Struggling? <laughs> I'm a pro. I'm a snake. Yeah, I'm a snake. But as you can see, we've cleared up some space round by the parts washer because uh, this is gonna start happening fairly soon. V8 V8 stuff is gonna happen soon. So it's gonna start getting uncovered. Getting that taken apart again, get the bottom end taken out of it, clean that all up because it's been uncovered for a while. Start getting that stuff in there, wash that all up, put that on a separate table, cover it over, and then start putting stuff together to go in there. Chase is now all clean, we've done some servicey bits. Thank you to our friends over at uh, my previous workplace. Uh, they've let us use their ramps because it's easier to do the oil filter on the, on the ramp than it is on the floor. If you know, you know with these things, they're okay. They're a pain in the ass to get to the oil filter, so appreciated from our friends for letting us use their ramp. But that is us done for the for, for today. For to 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 tomorrow. What have we got in tomorrow? We've got a busy day tomorrow? That's all of that stereo. Donut a bit tomorrow. Your melon. What's in tomorrow? We've already got receipts in. What's going on? Tuesday. 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 Got snap on Tuesday. Snap on Tuesday. So we got T T1. No, T5.1. Yeah. Darren. Darren. Yeah, another Darren. Another Darren. Another Darren reverse camera. And a Pino one sixty. Interior HK. light set. That's um that was the dude that showed up earlier with the Dacia or was it high and eye? We're doing the underglow in the uh, in the interior. There we go, see? I'm gonna order them neons tonight. Order them. What, for the chaser? Yep. This guy. I messed his mate boy with that Mustang, you know the guy? Oh, what, for the Knight Rider thing? I messaged him. Still not come back to me. <sighs> but yes. Hello. Look how clean she is. She? This is he? A whatever. Boy. Look how clean it is. <laughs> I, I drive men. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I drive <laughs> men. <laughs> but, yeah, but, uh, girls, we will give you a shout back tomorrow. Stay safe, and if you can't stay safe, have fun. If you can't be a. Uh, Shut out with your fucking spring of time. What? If you can't be good, then have six spark plugs. If you're. If you're <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought we were going to clean them and use them again. No. <laughs> what, all eight? Yeah. <laughs> See you in a bit. Early the next morning. Morning, everyone. Uh, snap on of the Tuesday variety. We got our first one in today, which is a orange. What's it? T5. Uh, this has, at the minute, a single din Pioneer with one of them half and half fascias. Um Microphone was up here, but I've just pulled it out and left it on the dash because obviously we're removing that. Um, we're doing a 160 and we're doing a reverse camera. So standard stuff, head unit's obviously gonna go in there, no steering control. Um, on this one, the reverse camera will go on the number plate plinth and then we'll run the cable through the car, in through the grommet, down through the front and then all the way to the uh, radio at the front there. It's got half a kitchen installed on it so far. Rock and roll bed's not in yet. 
but we'll make this thing a little bit better than an old school Singledon Pioneer and a pocket will give them a screen and some modern touches. So that's this today, first one in, see you in a bit. Afternoon everyone, so a bit of an update just after lunch. The transporter, the orange what's it. Um, I've been cracking away with the head unit fit, so uh, give you a bit of an update now. Obviously the head unit's in, everything's not buttoned up completely yet, so that's in the testing stages because I've had it plugged in, got everything, all everything sorted. Customer had their own harness, which I've since cut out and chucked away, um, as it wasn't a canvas harness, so it wasn't finding a reverse signal. So I've had to put in one of our own harnesses and find, obviously, reverse signal comes off the canvas decoding box. USB's all in, microphone dab aerial's all in, uh, reverse camera cable is in as well, goes along the top of the back of the harness there. Uh, and then everything is all working on the dashboard there. So microphones up the top, digital area, digital area in the corner. Um, and we'll get this one buttoned up to go in a couple of minutes. Camera's looking pretty good. Hello, my love. Right? Yeah, not bad. The camera's all in, in the number plate bracket there. So that's that one all sorted. And Alex has had another one that's come in this afternoon for a uh, Pioneer SBH DAB 160. So he's halfway through fitting this one up for the moment, so you can see. Morning all. Morning? It's middle of the day, mate. It's one o'clock. So the dashboard's all out. Just putting in his dab and microphone, and this one should be done fairly soon, get it back out the road. In a bit. You're loving, yeah. you're loving doing these Volkswagens, aren't you? You're yes. running out of kits now. Yeah, we're going to have to order some more. That's about 14 we've done in the last two weeks. <laughs> Everyone on their VWs is like, yeah, I want a radio. All right, we'll catch up with you soon. See you in a bit. Right then, everyone. So after a botched snap on Tuesday where Alex wasn't here, uh, still unattended, next one's here. It's a Kia Rio, maybe? Or a Seed? What is this thing? It's a, it's a Kia Stonic. There you go. It's a Kia Stonic. Uh, this one is having its interior lights fitted, so we are putting in one of our kits for footwear lighting. So I'll get that start, started out in a couple of seconds. Um, but we are putting them all around the car, fronts and backs. So I've got to make sure I keep them out of the way of the foot pedals and then underneath the rear seat, uh, underneath the front seats to light up the rear foot wells. Alex has had all of his warranty bits brought back. So he's got the brake pressure bleeder. So a new one of those, probably we said on the last video, one of these, we had one beforehand that stopped sucking. It obviously got married. Um, he's had an update on his Apollo. So that'll be news to him when he comes back. Uh, new battery for the battery replacement torches. We've had a little bit of an issue with some of these not holding their charge very well. We had one when we first got it and then we've just had another one go down. So uh, Jody has brought us another one. The snap-on uh, snap snips, the flush cuts, new set of them. How long do you reckon they're gonna last? Put it in the comments. And then the plastic side cutters as well. These are specifically for plastic. Not O gauge cable, um, as Jody thought we were cutting with it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, still no long pick, uh, and still no new flyer just yet. Jody says there's going to be a new one next week, so we will get started on this Kia, and we will give you a shout back later on. See you soon. Right then, so Kia Stonic, getting things done. So we've got the little box in the corner with all the tricks and bits inside it, the little eye on the end of it. That's going to live down in this corner here. I'm going to stick that onto the inside of there and make sure it's not going to come down. The footwell like this side is up. I just need to cable tie it. The cables are ran to the back, so that's all sorted. Um, and the one over to the passenger side is all done as well. So I just need to make sure that things are buttoned up and then start putting the stuff back together and then hardwire this in so that we haven't got a silly USB type dealy on there so that it comes on and on with, on and off with the ignition so that the guy can have it on all the time or powered off the remote that's that there is a new toy i'm going to wait till alex come alex comes back in he's just gotten back i expect he's probably gone next door to go make himself a cup of coffee because we've had pandemonium while he's been gone loads of stuff's been going on snap on tuesday come around and about five customers come through the door i was like oh my god of course he's left now but uh Give you a shout back in two seconds when he walks around the corner. See you soon. And show the people your new toy. So what? Come on, show you people your new toy. <laughs> no. Come on. You know you want to. Later. No, later. Don't get yourself. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Little sneak peek. <laughs> a Honda. He's bought Another a Honda owner. He's bought a well, you already were. You you've got <laughs> please, you've got two Hondas now. What's going on? I haven't. Yes, you have. Oh, the lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> He's a Honda boy. <laughs> Oh mate, he's gonna be vaping everywhere and you're gonna hear him at three in the morning giving it wah bah 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 See you soon. What in wee. Right then, Kia Stonic, interior lights all done. My first set of interior lights I've ever done. But uh, yeah, all fitted, ready to go. Passenger footwell's working. Driver's rear footwell working. What's that? I'll spot with a balloon stem. But uh, all sorted, all done, looking a bit fancy. The little eyelet for the infrared just there. The rest of the cable is tucked down the centre console and hidden so you can't see it. But yeah, this one's all done, so we'll get a customer phone call over. Got his remote so he can turn them off if he wants to, turn them back on if he wants to. And obviously they work with the ignition as well, so as soon as he gets out, then... Uh, they turn off, which is perfect. Other than that, we are all done for work work today. That's um, playtime. See you soon.